Shalom, family in Messiah Yeshua. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I will be reading from the book of Tobit, chapter 4, starting at verse 19. The book of Tobit, chapter 4, and verse 19. Again, the book of Tobit, chapter 4, and verse 19, and I read, Bless Yahweh, your Almighty One always, and desire of Him that your ways may be directed, and that all your paths and counsel may prosper. For every nation hath not counsel, but Yahweh Himself gives all good things, and He humbles whom He will, as He will, another Therefore, my son, remember my commandments. Now let them be put out of your mind. Now turn to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Proverbs 3 and verse 5. And I read, Trust in Yahweh. With all your heart, and lean not unto your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes, fear Yahweh, and depart from evil. I read it to say this. Life is a series of moments. For that cause, in our present moment, we must remain mindful of our Yahweh. Mindfulness of our Yahweh means that we submit ourselves unto His will in the moment. Being mindful of whatsoever things was written aforetime because whatsoever things were written aforetime is afforded unto us by Yahweh for our learning and our patience that we may have hope to obtain the promise of entrance in his, into his kingdom so in the moment let us remain mindful of our Yahweh. In order to be mindful of our Yahweh, we must be intently and exclusively focused on our Yahweh's will. And the will of our Yahweh is not complicated nor difficult to grasp. For the will of Yahweh is not something that's so far off. They have to seek to extraordinary lengths to achieve it. The will of Yahweh is simply the word of our Yahweh. As we are instructed by the set of our scriptures, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. For that cause, if you are a believer in Abba Yahweh, that means if you have repented of your sins and was baptized in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul and had received the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak, then your obligation your responsibility is to be mindful of our Yahweh. In, order, in other words, being mindful of Yahweh is that you hold and guard and reserve remembrance of Yahweh exclusively and centered in your heart. As is written in First Peter chapter 3, We are instructed to 
to set Yahweh in our hearts. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 15. But set apart Yahweh Almighty One in your heart. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of expectations that in you with meek and fear. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed to falsely accuse your good conversation in the renewed man. So, being mindful of Yahweh in the moment requires us to set apart Yahweh or let Yahweh be reconciled exclusively in your heart and mind. In other words, Yahweh is most prominent in your life. When your entire life evolved around His will. For that cause, your life will be structured, conformed, and aligned with the will of Yahweh. Your decisions must reflect the instruction of Yahweh. That you may bear witness of Abba Yahweh's greatness, His blessedness, and His almightiness. So let us be mindful of our Yahweh in the moment. For sin occurs when we're not mindful of Yahweh, of our Yahweh. For sin being the transgression of Yahweh's law, and when you remove your focus and your remembrance and your mindfulness from Yahweh, and you become self-focused. Self-centered and self-seeking or self-will, then you will you have entered into sin. As it, as it is written, pride is the beginning of sin. And that's in Ecclesiasticus chapter ten and verse. Twelve. The beginning of pride is when one departs from Yahweh, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. So when you forsake and depart from Yahweh, is the act of your own will. When you choose to become self-focused and self-centered and self-willed. Then you have begun transgression of Yahweh's law. Because we who are creations, even creatures of Yahweh, our responsibility, our objective is to be exclusively focused and directed and centered by Yahweh's will. So let us be mindful of our Yahweh in the moment. For life is a series of moments. And in the present moment, we are to remain mindful of our Yahweh. Hold him in our remembrance. That we may conduct ourselves according to every word that proceeds out of his mouth. So family of Yahweh. Be exhorted and admonished that we are to be courageous. And being mindful of Yahweh in this present moment. For our Yahweh is with us if we remain mindful of Him.
The book says, In all your ways acknowledge Yahweh. If you acknowledge Yahweh in all your ways, means you trust Him. To trust Yahweh is to place great confidence and assurance in Yahweh. And if you place that great confidence and assurance in Abba Yahweh, then that confidence and that assurance extends to whatsoever proceeds out of his mouth. See, you cannot place confidence and assurance in Yahweh without submitting unto what he says. The while the scripture says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. To trust Yahweh is to live by every word of Yahweh. To live by the whole law of Yahweh. So if you reject portions or parts of the law of Yahweh, then you do not trust Yahweh. For trusting Yahweh is all encompasses encompassing. You can't pick and choose with trust in Yahweh. Either you trust Yahweh or you don't. And if you trust Yahweh, then you will abide and govern yourself and be dictated by every word of Yahweh. As it's been in Deuteronomy chapter 8. Starting at verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 1. All, all the commandments which I command you this day shall you observe to do. That you may live. So if you want to live, you must observe every word of Yahweh. And multiply and go in and possess the land which Yahweh swear unto your fathers, and that you shall and that you shall remember, and that you shall remember all the way of Yahweh your El, and that you shall be mindful of all the way which Yahweh your El led you these forty years in the wilderness to humble you and to prove you. To know what was in your heart. Where you would guard his commandments to know. And he humbled you. And suffered you to hunger. And fed you with manna. Which you knew not. Now did your fathers know. That he might make you know. That man does not live by bread only. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. Does man live. So if you trust Yahweh. If we trust in Yahweh. They will abide by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. If you trust Yahweh, then you will abide by the instructions that he put forth by his messengers. That includes his Messiah and soon coming King, Yeshua of Nazareth, who preached. That in order to be one with Yahweh, you must be born of water and of the Spirit. So if you trust Yahweh, you will obey the instructions of His appointed Messiah, of His renewed image and likeness of Himself. For that cause, you must submit yourself to the instruction of Yeshua of Nazareth to be born again. To be born of water and of the Spirit by taking on the name of Yeshua HaMashiach in water baptism that you may receive the pardon of your sins and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. 
See, serving Yahweh is about trust in Yahweh. It, in order to trust Yahweh, you must let go, separate, and divest, even hate your own will, and surrender absolutely and totally and without reservation unto the will of Yahweh. It's either all or nothing. You either trust Yahweh or you don't. And if you trust Yahweh, the responsibility, the obligation, and the manner of trusting Yahweh is total obedience and compliance to the will of Yahweh. If you're partially obedient to Yahweh's will, then you do not trust Yahweh. You trust your own will. Because if you trust Yahweh, you're going to be fully subject unto Yahweh's will. And Yahweh's will is his every word that proceeds out of his mouth. So either you trust Yahweh or you don't. If you trust Yahweh, Yisrael, let go of your will. Divest, separate, and forsake your will. And surrender totally, without reservation, unto the will of Yahweh. For in order to inherit paradise, you must trust Yahweh. You must place total, absolute, and supreme confidence and assurance in Abba Yahweh. And that supreme confidence, that supreme assurance, extends to his every word that proceeds out of his mouth. For it's written, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with Elohim, and the word was Elohim. So Yahweh is the word. Reject the false teaching that says that Messiah Jesus is the word. Jesus the Messiah is not the word. Jesus the Messiah is the express image of the word. As Adam was. When the scripture says in, that Yahweh made Adam in his image and in his, in his likeness. He was created an express image. So when Yeshua was created in the image and likeness of Yahweh, he was making an express image of himself. Not that Yahweh is a man, as is written in Numbers 23 19. Yahweh is not a man, they should lie. Neither son, of, neither son of man, they should repent. So when Yahweh created Adam and the second Adam, Jesus the Messiah, in his image and likeness, he created them in the reflection of his sinlessness, of his purity, of his cleanliness, and of his pure character. So, if you trust Yahweh, if you trust Yahweh, you're going to submit to every word that proceeds out of his mouth. If you trust Yahweh, you will obey the words of his messengers whom Yahweh has sent. If you don't trust Yahweh, then you will reject, despise, neglect, ignore the words of his messengers. For our Yahweh speak by his messengers. So do you trust Yahweh? See, it's all or nothing. Either you trust Yahweh or you don't. There's no such thing as partially trusting Yahweh. There's no such thing as a little bit trusting Yahweh. Either you trust Yahweh or you don't. And if you trust Yahweh, then you're going to be fully subject to every word that he speaks. For the book says all scripture, all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh. 
and is beneficial for doctrine, for correction, for reproof, for instruction, in which right that the man of Yahweh may be perfect through be first unto all good works. And if you seek first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, then you are trusting Yahweh by submitting unto his every word that proceeds out of his mouth. For it is our obligation, it is our responsibility to trust Yahweh by living according to every word that proceeds out of his mouth. So Yisrael of Yahweh, Wheresoever we are scattered upon the face of Yahweh's erects. Trust Yahweh. Do not trust in yourself. Don't trust in situations or circumstances. But trust Yahweh. And if you trust Yahweh, you will submit yourself unto his every word that proceeds out of his mouth. As is written in Tobit chapter 4, Tobit chapter 4 and verse 19, Bless Yahweh your Almighty one always, and desire of Him that your ways may be directed, and that all your path and counsel may prosper. For every nation has not counsel. But Yahweh himself gives all good things. And he humbles whom he will. As he will. Now therefore, my son, remember my commandments. Now let them be put out of your mind. Now therefore, my son, remember or be mindful of my commandments. Now, now let them be put out of your mind. So remain mindful of Yahweh. If you trust Yahweh. If you trust in Yahweh, you will remain mindful of Yahweh. And remember, life is a series of moments. Therefore, in the moment, exercise trust in Yahweh by governing yourself according to the word of Yahweh. So, to the Israelite community, to the Torah sentence community, the question you have to ask yourself, do you trust Yahweh? With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And if you do, are you obeying Him? Have you obeyed Him? And if you have obeyed Him, why you reject or neglect water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? For it is commanded that everyone that believes in Yahweh, that believes in his son, which is to acknowledge that his son is our access and reconciliation to Yahweh, then you must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, that you may receive the pardon of your sin and the quickening of your soul and you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost and according to the Sapphire scripture the initial and historical proof that one had received the baptism of the Holy Ghost is speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak so the question you have to ask yourself if you trust Yahweh why do you neglect water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach why do you neglect seeking Yahweh to receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit, expecting that upon receiving the Holy Spirit baptism, you will speak in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak? Why do you neglect it? Why do you reject it? You say you trust Yahweh. Why do you reject Acts 2 3 after new birth? Question is do you trust Yahweh? Or do you trust in your own will? And many of you, who profess to observe the Torah. Many of you who profess to give fidelity and faithfulness in mouth and lip to serve Yahweh. Many of you don't trust Yahweh. You trust in your own damn will. 
And if you trust in your own damn will, you are a sinner. And remember, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through being reconciled unto Yahweh. So Yeshua is our reconciliation to Yahweh. That why is written for Yahweh so loved the world. For Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. Whosoever acknowledges that Jesus the Messiah is our reconciliation to Yahweh. And that acknowledgement is not merely the profession of the mouth. Or the profession of the lips. But they acknowledge it. Is doing. And such doing. Is you will obey. The teachings of Messiah Yeshua. By being baptized. In water. In the blessed name. Of Jesus Christ. And receiving. The blessed. Holy Ghost. As initially evident. By speaking. In another tongue, as Yahweh permits one to speak, and walking as Yeshua of Nazareth walked. How did Yeshua of Nazareth walk? He walked according to every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh. This is what trust in Yahweh looks like. This is what trust in Yahweh is demonstrating. It is obedience to every word of Yahweh. And if you're partially obedient to the word of Yahweh, then you don't trust Yahweh. You're not, you're not deceiving no one other but your own self in saying and thinking that you trust Yahweh. But when your lifestyle it is live opposed to every word of Yahweh. So the question, do you trust Yahweh or do you trust your own damn will? The way you got to examine yourself, do you trust Yahweh or do you trust your own damn will? That's the question you got to ask yourself. Do you trust Yahweh or do you trust your own damn will? Our first feast is coming up on um, Passover. New Year's. Our New Year is coming up. You got you got to you got to answer this question. To yourself, do you trust Yahweh or do you trust your own damn will? Because the scripture says concerning our feast days, or rather Yahweh's feast days or appointed times, in Leviticus chapter 23, and verse 1. And Yahweh, and Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concern the feast of Yahweh, which you shall proclaim to be set apart convocations, or set apart gatherings. Even these are my feasts. So the feast days, or the feast of Yahweh, or set apart gatherings. In other words, in order to properly observe the appointed times or the feast of Yahweh, you must be set apart to Yahweh. And if you're not set apart to Yahweh, your mere attempt to observe the feast days and the set apart memorials is not only vain, but you profane them. You blaspheme them. You show irreverence and disrespect and mockery of Yahweh's feast days. Because in order to observe the feast days, you must be set apart to Yahweh. And if you had not been reconciled to Yahweh by belief on His Son, Jesus the Messiah, and if you believe on Yahweh's Son, Jesus the Messiah, then you will be born into him and walk as he walked. To be born into Jesus the Messiah, you must be born again. And again, to be born again, you must repent 
of your sins and you must be baptized in the blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul and you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking another tongue as Yahweh permits for to speak for you're not born again according to Acts 2 38 then your mere attempt to observe Yahweh's appointed times Yahweh's feast days will be not only in vain but you profane them and if you profane the feasts of Yahweh you blaspheme Yahweh and if you blaspheme Yahweh willfully you can't be pardoned of your sin and if you not pardoned of your sin you are guaranteed that you won't inherit that kingdom of Yahweh to come. And if you don't inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come, know of a surety that your soul is going to be cast into that lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone and you're going to be tormented day and night as long as Yahweh is Almighty One. Do you trust Yahweh? Or do you trust your own damn will? That's the question. That's the title of this message. Do you trust Yahweh? Or do you trust in your own damn will? That's the question you got to ask. Do you trust Yahweh? Or do you trust in your own damn will? Case closed. Oh Yahweh. In the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for granting your servant another opportunity, the inspiration and the option to speak forth your word of truth, the very witness and record of your almightiness, of your greatness and your blessedness. I beseech you, O Yahweh, that you draw your chosen to both hear and receive your word that they may produce abundant fruit from it. I beseech you by your word that you cut to the heart those who have esteemed themselves unworthy of life eternal. That you continue to open uh, the chambers of blessing and windows of Shamaim upon your elect and set apart nation renewed Israel. Whatsoever was scattered upon your rest, O Yahweh. Continue to fight and protect and preserve us from our enemies. Even my enemies located here in Person County and Rockford, North Carolina. Even my enemies in both Rockford Police Department and Rockford Sheriff Department. You send upon them continually, unceasingly, your great, your unrestrained, your incurable, and your terrifying plagues, curses, terrors, torments, fire rebukes, and your intense and great fury until they are destroyed. You bring forth your hammer of judgment upon them. And you make my enemies in Rockford PD and Rockford Sheriff Department an open show, an open reproach, an open derision, an open shame, an open contempt before all Shamaim and Aretz. And you exalt your servant in their midst and before their eyes that they may know and understand that there's nothing that they can do to stop and hinder and restrain the judgment that you have decreed against them. I thank you, O Yahweh, for hearing the prayer of your servant. Thank you for granting your servants, your elect was access to you by the offering up of your only begotten son, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you for empowering him to live a set apart life for our sample. I praise you, O Yahweh. I glorify you. So be it. So be it. Remember, family, as you are able and enabled of Abba Yahweh, 
please show your support. Not out of compulsion or out of grudging, but voluntarily. As you're able and enabled of Abba Yahweh, please give. As you have purpose in your heart, please give to your, your fellow servant and your blood brother. Whether you give a one-time donation or a continued donation, please give cheerfully. Don't give grudgingly or give out of compulsion, but give as you purpose in your heart. Give cheerfully, family. Pray for your blood brother. Pray with your blood brother. And in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, may Yahweh open his chambers of blessing and windows of Shamaim upon you, those who serve him in spirit and in the truth, those who choose to support this ministry and their fellow servant and labor in the gospel of Messiah Yeshua. I love you all, family. Shalom, shalom, and shalom.